So if you are already excited because you thought this video is going to be about uh, rivers, waterfalls, I'm sorry, I have to say no, that was only to make some beautiful and interesting b-roll. Today I'm really struggling because the thing that I'm searching for, or I mean the composition that is in my mind, I can't find it in a lot of places and there's no specific location where I have to go to to find the composition or the idea which is in my mind. And that's why I was struggling at the beginning. As I left my house, I started to think where should I go to this place or to this direction or the other direction. Whenever I go, I can find the thing that I'm searching for. So let me take my tripod from my bike and we will start with the first photo. And during taking the photo, I will talk about what I'm thinking about today and what is my gear today because I didn't bring everything I have. Uh, so let's start. What I did is that I took three photos at F8 and F13 and F16 just to see and just to make sure that the tree which I am taking photo of is totally sharp and I found that at F16 this is the sharpest possible in this lens. I am taking the photo at a 300 mm lens as I said F16 130 of the second and the ISO is 200 50 because I don't want any I, I, I wanted uh, my shutter speed to be a little bit faster because as you can see any small movement and it's a little bit windy not so much but any small movement makes the photo a little bit blurry and that's why I raised my ISO a little bit to have a little bit faster shutter speed and sharper photo so this is what I'm searching for actually in today's video and this is what I'm trying to do is I have only the 7300mm lens, the Sigma 7300mm lens and I want to try to take photos only at 300mm and I'm really not sure I can do that. So that's why I would say I will stick between 200 and 300mm because if I just want to stay at 300mm it's really so hard and you need very big spaces and not space like this or area like this where you don't have a very big spaces to go to 300 millimeters so I will say at the beginning now I will say between 200 and 300 millimeters so I will search for another thing and why I wanted to make that today because there's a little bit of mist or fog today and this will be very good in situations like this where you want to zoom as much as you can and you have somehow a little bit of foggy or misty background it's not so heavy fog but when you zoom a 300 millimeter lens the fog will be compressed in the background and will be a little bit visible and that's what I want to try today and I hope I will be able to find something like that So here is the second photo that I was trying to take, but believe it or not, something like three quarters of an hour or 30 minutes, I was trying to make it less chaotic as much as I can because I will record a video right here and I will show you all the hard things or all the challenges that I was facing, I was facing, I was facing. So as you can see right here, I took the photo exactly like that and maybe I will make it for by five because I want to cut you will not be able to see my hand obviously I want to cut all the grass I have a lot of grass I don't want to have 
a lot of that but the problem is that if I want to go up a little bit I will have the sky and I don't want to have the sky don't ask me why I don't like it because it will distract the eye from the main subject which is the tree I like the tree a lot because all the trees are are full with leaves but this tree is like the beginning of the spring it's still somehow empty and not totally full like the others and I couldn't actually I couldn't find any other composition and if I want to zoom out a little bit another two another problem is that I have the sky and at the same time I have this branch here if you can see and I really don't want to show it in the composition and that's why for me I found it I wanted actually I wanted to show the whole tree this will be so nice but as you can see this spot of sky here at the at the corner at the top right corner it's so distracting uh, at the same time this branch on the left of the composition it's also so distracting i think i'll try another composition which is i want to try to be closer, a little bit closer to the tree I will go to the left and I will take a horizontal composition I think and I will try to take only half of the tree um, I don't know, I, I just I was just thinking about that As you can see this is the second photo at f16 again 140 of the second ISO 250 and again at 300 millimeter. Mm, I think what I will try to do in Lightroom is that I will take off the saturation a little bit of the green because the background is a little bit green I will try to take off the saturation and I will try to make it a little bit darker the green color I will try to make it a little bit darker and I will concentrate only on the something like it looks like yellow color of the leaves of this tree I will try to make it a little bit the main composition or the main subject I, I mean I will try to make it the main subject of the photo I have to admit actually that this is not the sharpest the sharpest lens obviously the Sigma 70 300mm lens especially when you go to the longest focal length possible the 300mm lens it's really so hard to have a sharp photo I tried a lot of things I tried at f16 and I tried also to raise up my ISO to have a very fast shutter speed but I still couldn't have a very sharp photo like for example if I took the photo at with my 50mm lens the f1.8 and I use it at f5 for example f6 or f9 I have a very always I have a very sharp photos using that lens but the Sigma 7300mm lens it's not so sharp at 300mm yeah so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed I hope you like the both photos the first one and the second one here uh, please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye